In this video, we can discuss about production of hepatitis B vaccine by recombinant DNA technology. Here, we will discuss about introduction and structure of hepatitis B virus, an introduction to the hepatitis B recombinant vaccine, and method of production, steps involved in the method of production of hepatitis recombinant vaccine. So what is hepatitis B virus? Hepatitis B virus or HPV is the one of the most common infectious disease to the man which produce several chronic liver disorders such as chronic hepatitis, cirrhosis and primary, primary liver cancer. And this HPV is 50 to 100 times more infectious than AIDS and this virus is 42 nanometer particles which is also known as Dane particle. It consists of a core containing viral double stranded DNA and surrounded by a phospholipid envelope carrying specific antigen. But it is very difficult to grow in hep grow the hepatitis B virus in mammalian cell culture and produce the surface antigen. Therefore, we will go for the recombinant DNA technology because that is the preferred method to prepare hepatitis B vaccines. So this is the structure of an hepatitis B virus. It consists of an core DNA which containing hepatitis core antigen and there is an phospholipid or surface it containing hepatitis B surface antigen and there are some hepatitis B E antigens between the core as well as the uh, core DNA as well as the uh, envelope. So that is the E antigen and this is the core antigen and this is the surface antigen. So this is the structure of hepatitis B virus. Now coming to hepatitis B recombinant vaccines. We, these are produced from antigenic proteins of hepatitis B virus by recombinant DNA technological process that duplicate the chemical messages and secreted factors like interleukin 2 for the communication and activity of the human cell. There are three type of viral code proteins which are recognized to be antigenic on hepatitis B virus that is viral surface antigen which is known as HPS AG and viral core antigen which is known as HBC AG and the E antigen HPE AG. For the production of hepatitis B recombinant vaccine we will use surface antigen that is HPS AG which is found to be 18 to 20 meter nanometer size with the spherical or tubular from the particles and recently HBS antigen gene and its subunits are used for the production of recombinant hepatitis B vaccines. Now coming to the steps involved in the production of hepatitis B recombinant vac vaccine. First step is the isolation of HPS antigen or HPS antigen producing gene is isolated from H hepatitis B virus by normal isolation process like cell lysis, then protein denaturation, then precipitation, then centrifugation and finally dry. So then we have to extract a plasmid DNA from the bacterium E. coli. And this plasmid is cut with restriction endonucleus enzyme echo R1 forming a plasmid vector. And the isolated gene for HPS antigen uh, is located and inserted in the bacterial plasmid for, to form a recombinant DNA by using DNA ligase enzyme. And this recombinant DNA which contain bacterial plasmid an isolated HPS antigen gene is introduced into a yeast cell Saccharomyces cerevisiae forming the recombinant yeast cell.
so this is the pictorial representation from the bacteria we have to isolate the plasmid dna and we have to cut with the restriction endonucleus enzyme and from the surface of hepatitis b we have to isolate the gene which is responsible for the hps gene or surface antigen uh, gene and we have to combine these two to form a recombinant dna and this recombinant dna is transferred to an yeast cell saccharomyces cerevisiae and then this is transferred to a, a fermentation tank and this is fermented to produce or to get the surface antigens the recombinant yeast cell will multiply in the fermenter tank and produces hbs antigen the fermentation process involved the growth of uh, saccharomyces cerevisiae on a complex fermentation medium which consists of yeast soya peptone dextrose amino acid and minerals so after the fermentation of the saccharomyces cerevisiae which containing the recombinant dna for 48 hours the yeast cell are ruptured to free hps antigen hepatitis b surface antigen and this mixture is processed for extraction process for the extraction process the hps protein is released from the yeast cell by cell disruption and this is purified by a series of physical and chemical method purified protein first is treated with phosphate buffer with formaldehyde and then it is co-precipitated with alum like potassium aluminum sulfate to form a bulk vaccine adjuvanted with amorphous aluminum hydroxy phosphate sulfate then this is formulated as dose which containing not uh, uh, which containing less than one percentage of the yeast protein and this hepatitis surface antigen are combined with the preservative agent and the and other ingredient and then it is sealed in glass bottle for the further use so this is the steps involved in the hepatitis b recombinant vaccine production and these are some hepatitis b uh, recombinant vaccine which are available in the market and its dosage and schedule first one is recombi vax hp this is used in different soils for different uh, persons with age person from birth through an 19 year of age a series of three doses each containing 0.5 ml given at zero month one month and six month schedule and the person who are in ad adolescent age that is 15 to 15 year old, old of age a series of three doses 0.5 ml given at zero one and six month schedule or a series of two dose of one ml zero or in between four to six month of schedule and a person who have a 20 year age and older a series of three dose with the one ml is given zero and six month schedule and this is reco wax is also formulated for the dialysis uh, purposes also or the patient who are taking dialysis Adult on pre-dialysis or dialysis can be administered with a series of three doses, each containing 10 ml, Q1 at 0, uh, 1 and 6 month schedule. So this is all about the production of recombinant hepatitis B vaccine. Hope it is clear. Thank you for watching this video.